Hi guys! So I am going to use this uh, vegetarian dumplings that I made in my last video. I hope you all saw it. Where I just steamed those dumplings and I'm going to make soup. So yeah, I have all my ingredients here. I'm going to chop and prepare, dice, whatever I need to do to prepare all my ingredients to make this delicious soup. So hope you guys like this video. Oh, and these are the ingredients, if in case you wanted to see what's in this, um, this, these dumplings. Okay guys, so I have everything, um, chopped up. I just diced them into little cubes. I have all my herbs and my aromatics, everything chopped up and ready to, um, make my soup. So, uh, I wanted to show you guys this. You see all these tough parts of this, the, uh, celery and sive or any herb i usually chop this up and i cook it at the beginning um i saute it in the beginning and all my other herbs i kind of add them in between and then last i keep some for um last to so have pumpkin um potato onions carrots um this is celery um i have sive and also cilantro um i have pimento um thyme black pepper oregano um parsley hot pepper and garlic and some more herbs and butter and some corn cream style corn so let's okay, get guys, started i'm gonna add some avocado oil i got every single thing that i'm using today in my video um i got it at freeport fresh i'm gonna add some oops, some butter keep your flame nice and low adding my garlic and my pepper and my this until it gets nice and tender. My onion goes in. Parsley, oregano, black pepper and thyme. Most of my chopped pimentos. Pumpkin. I don't have to add my pumpkin now. I could add it later, but oh. give that a stir. Just add a little bit of my cilantro. I'm keeping some for when it's finished to garnish. And I'm gonna add a little bit of my fresh side and celery. Again, I'm keeping a little for when it's finished. And I have some thyme here as well. Just add a little. And I'll keep this a tiny bit for later. This smells amazing, guys. If you really know how this smells. So I'm going to add some water just to cover the top of my veggies. And you want to just cook this low and slow until your veggies is nice and tender especially your carrots because the carrots here is the most tough vegetable so all right guys this is where we are at right now so uh, my carrots it is tender so let me just let me just smush it against here so i could show you See, it is breaking apart really nicely. Um, still a little tough, but it just has a little bit of cooking to, to go again. So next I'm gonna put my, drop my dumplings in. Let me just put them on this pack. And I'm just going to take my time and just gently put my dumplings in. Yummy, yummy. I'm gonna add 
one extra thing to my soup. I'm gonna add this tri quinoa. This is what it looks. This is what the pack looks like. So I just gave it a rinse, and I'm just gonna drop it in there. And just give it a stir. I'm gonna let this cook for like two minutes. Just about, and then I'm gonna add my corn to it. Right. So now I'm gonna add my creamed corn, cream style corn. Yummy, yummy. Soup is finished. Here, my dumpling. Yummy, yum. Next thing I'm gonna do is take my stove off, then I'm gonna add my fresh herbs to the top of it here. It adds really good flavor and it also looks pretty. And then I'm just gonna give it a little stir. And there we go, guys. Yummy, yummy, yummy soup. Okay, guys, so the last thing that goes in would be salt. And you can taste it. And you could also just adjust salt to suit um, your taste, really. Um, just keep in mind when adding salt, uh, remember all the things that you're putting previously. Make sure it doesn't have salt before. So, you know, otherwise you'll just end up with really salty food. Uh, my grandmother taught me to add salt at the end of the dish, so it's what I always do. I hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more to come. And yeah, definitely try it out and visit Freeport Fresh Food Market. Bye guys. Thank you for watching.